To limit Ukraine's ability to wage war, Russian missile attacks have mostly targeted its energy infrastructure. Although the West has given Ukraine some cutting-edge air defense systems, like the NASAMS, Hawk, and Iris-T, Ukraine has insisted that it still requires more to repel the Russian missile bombardment that is falling on its cities. While Ukraine begs for more sophisticated air defense, a U.S. official claims that Russia has turned to a fresh tactic to deplete Ukraine's air defenses. According to Reuters, a senior U.S. military official claimed on November 29 that Russia is launching unarmed cruise missiles with nuclear warheads toward Ukraine to deplete Kyiv's air defense inventories. The unnamed official was responding to inquiries about a prior British intelligence report that suggested Russia was probably launching cruise missiles with nuclear warheads after removing them. According to media reports from Ukraine, Russia may have fired the KH-55 cruise missile after removing its nuclear payload and swapping it out for a fake. According to these claims, a KH-55 missile that was shot down over Kyiv on November 17 had a block that was screwed on that served as a fake nuclear warhead. According to the British Defense Ministry, ballast was probably deployed in place of the warheads, a tactic that would still result in damage because of the missile's kinetic force and remaining fuel. This is the first time a U.S. representative has offered commentary on the assessment. The Pentagon has highlighted that part of Russia's goal in increasing its missile attacks on Ukraine is to exhaust Kyiv's air defense capabilities and eventually seize control of the nation's airspace. As a result, arming Ukraine with air defense systems has been a top priority for the United States and its allies. This covers anything from outdated Western technologies to systems still in use from the Soviet era. According to reports, the U.S. is debating whether to grant Ukraine's request to arm it with Patriot air defense systems. However, if Russia utilized unarmed missiles, it could be worthwhile to ponder if the U.S. and its NATO partners would send missile defense systems to Ukraine. The cutting-edge air defense systems that were given to Ukraine and those that are being considered launch expensive missiles. Experts already think that Russia's odds were tilted in its favor because of the cost disparity as a result of its use of kamikaze drones. While the British intelligence is not wrong, some military analysts think it might be a little misplaced and out of context. On November 26, 2022, the UK MOAD also tweeted that Russia is probably removing the nuclear warheads from old nuclear cruise missiles and shooting the unarmed weapons against Ukraine. The discussion came to the reasonable conclusion that Russia very definitely expects that such missiles will serve as a decoy and divert Ukrainian air defenses. Whatever Russia's intentions, this improvisation demonstrates how its supply of long-range missiles is running low. The Institute for the Study of War agreed with this assessment. Squadron leader Vijender K. Thakur, a military specialist and veteran of the Indian Air Force, explained that many KH-55 SM missiles had been removed from their strategic function with the introduction of superior KH-100 and two missiles into service. Data show that Russia started fitting inert warheads on its KH-55 SM missiles as early as 2015, following the launch of the KH-100 and two long-range, low-observable strategic cruise missile. For instance, the Russian Air Force reported in 2015 that an A-50 and four MiG-31 Foxhound interceptors had successfully used a test to bring down a KH-55 cruise missile. Thakur added that militaries around the world are striving to recycle old military equipment by luring Ukrainian air defense systems into activating to engage decoy KH-55 SM missiles with inert warheads. Russia is likely exposing their positions and opening them up to attack by Su-35S fighters armed with KH-31 missiles, which, according to the Rumad, are on patrol 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Despite this, as the conflict enters an extremely hard winter, Russia keeps launching missiles against Ukrainian cities. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, claimed that Russian forces were planning something in the south of the nation and detailed the complex frontline scenario, which included fierce fighting in the country's east, northeast, and south. The Russian military has stepped up its game after being put on the defensive. Over the past month, Russia has bombarded Ukrainian infrastructure with attacks that have destroyed over a third of the nation's power plants, causing frequent blackouts in numerous cities. 
Utilizing cutting-edge air defense systems, Ukraine seeks to stop further infrastructure destruction due to Russian attacks. Last month, Reznikov claimed that Germany had given Ukraine the first IRIS-T air defense system. A short to medium-range ground-based air defense system is called NASAMS, or National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. Air defense has been a crucial part of Ukraine's resistance against the Russian invasion since the start of the conflict. Since the beginning of October, when Russia intensified its campaign of missile and drone strikes against the towns and infrastructure of Ukraine, it has assumed an even bigger significance. The National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, often known as NASAMS, has drawn the greatest attention as spy. The other system Reznikov mentioned is a model made in Spain similarly. These systems, created by the American company Raytheon and the Norwegian company Kongsberg, have been delivered by the U.S. with six more on the way. The system will aid Ukraine in defending itself against any type of direct aerial threat that Russians may try to employ against various targets or civilians, including the drones and cruise missiles that have been causing the majority of the recent damage, according to Brigade General Patrick Ryder, spokesman for the Pentagon. It comes at a time when it is urgently needed to shoot down Russian missiles before they land, according to experts, who claim that it is a better air defense system than anything the Ukrainians have had to date. The NASAMS was first mentioned by CNN in June, but officials did not officially confirm the plan until September. Instead of the president's drawdown authority, which would have allowed the United States military to provide them directly from its stocks, these weapons are being provided under the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, which gives money to Ukraine to buy weapon systems directly from contractors. So many Ukrainian soldiers have already finished their system operation training in Norway. What exactly are these systems then? And what kind of impact will they have on the war? According to Kongsberg, the NASAMS, which was developed in the 1990s, is currently in use in Norway, the United States, Spain, the Netherlands, Finland, Oman, Lithuania, Indonesia, and one unnamed customer. The NASAM's past is shrouded in secret. Whether it has ever been deployed in actual conflict is unknown to the general public, and a business spokeswoman did not answer a request from GRID. The NASAM system's most well-known deployment is in Washington, D.C., where systems have been placed in key places throughout the city since 2005. In other words, Ukraine is receiving the defenses that protect the American government against airstrikes. The NASAMS is a modular system made up of three major parts, a command and control center, a missile launcher, and a radar for spotting approaching drones or planes carrying missiles. Its shooting range, according to the Congressional Research Service, is about 25 miles. The NASAMS is a more modern system with more advanced technology, including an identification system to avoid shooting at friendly targets, even though it is shorter than the Soviet-era S-300 systems now in operation in Ukraine. Though Western authorities believe Iran is prepared to supply Russia with hundreds more missiles and attack drones, Ukraine's Air Force issued a warning this week that Russia is likely stockpiling missiles for major fresh strikes. In light of this, it is still far from safe to fly over Ukraine at this time. Okay, guys, that's all for today. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates.